Talia Tongo Vailoa. First and ten, right to the ground. Roman Hemby runs into the strength of that Nebraska defense. That's the D line. And Corey Deitches, one of the best tight ends in the country for Maryland. Tongo Vailoa tries to get to the edge, gets across the 25, but did not get to the 30. So the team that has passed the ball. The Tongue of Iloa has taken six sacks in each of the last two games. Huskers will be coming here. They bring five. Nice pocket, short completion. The catch and the run just good enough for a first down. Corey Deitches. We're seeing all across college football and in the NFL. Right back on the ball. Another run play and stood up at the line of scrimmage. First carry for Antoine Littleton. And watch this one play here. And I want to learn a little bit more about this 3 3 5 defense that you played against in the NFL as well. First possession of the game here for Maryland. Empty backfield for Tango Vallejo. Quickly out of his hands. And once again, a completion. This time to midfield. Back to Corey Deitches. His second. Both of his catches have gone for a first down. That one gets nine. 3 5. They can line up in multiple fronts. You see here that you got. Defense alignment. There's only three of them, but they can line up anywhere on the field. Rolling out, and a little bit too much. Jay Sean Jones is a little stout against the run, but have those five DBs to be able to defend the pass. Good balance so far, exactly 50 50. Three runs, three passes. Tongue of Iloa, empty backfield, back to the air. Off the back foot, the ball knocked down just before he got it to Preston Howard, his young tight end. Jamari Butler got his hands on it. Mike Loxley told us during the week, I need my quarterback to play a little bit better. Here's a shot right here. Comes to the near sideline. Takes advantage of that soft coverage. And that'll be right at the sticks. Antoine Littleton. Tailback was split out wide. There is a penalty marker down. Came out right at the snap. Would be a gain of 10. Referee today is Brian Banks. Offside. Number 90. Defense. That penalty's decline. Results of the play is a first down. Littleton so wide open out there, he took the yards. Matt Rule wants to make Tonga Vailoa uncomfortable today. He's been wide open in the pocket just like that every time he's dropped back. This time they get down to the 31 between the hashes. Preston Howard on the field, it allows you to be so multiple. Gives you the opportunity to run the football, and now we're seeing him use it in the pass game. Second down, two. They want to go to the end around. Huskers there in the backfield. Throwing for a loss. Jamari Butler knocked down the pass earlier. They lose six yards. 11th play of this drive brings up third down and eight. Three wideouts to the right of Tonga by Lowell. Got a hurry. Down to three, two. And they just get it off. Goes far sideline. Knocked away. That time Nebraska's defense comes through. Titan Spangler was injured last week, so this is Brendan Segovia for the very first time punting this season with the Terrapins. High end over end punt. Fair catch inside the 10. Is a big part of why they have one of the top rush offenses in the country. And they go right to the air. Stepping up in the pocket. Keep it himself. Just across the 10. Takes a big hit after a gain of two. Tackle made by Jay Sean Barham. Kyle, big shots for the Husker offense against the Terrapin defense. What do you see? Well, we talked about this Husker run game and Emmett Johnson's the guy that we'll see back there carrying the ball a lot. Thomas Fedoni, guy that's been injured early in his career but playing really, really good football. And on the other side, Bo Braid and Ruben Hippolyte are going to be asked a lot of today to stop this run. I wanted to give you a hard time about picking a tight end, but Thomas Fedoni is the real deal. They love having him back after a couple of knee injuries cost him the last two seasons. And a Johnson the first time. Good hole off the left side. He hits it hard. And that's Nebraska's first first down. A Johnson's role has been increasing. Nebraska prefers to run. Although this is their second pass, complete to the 20. Cut back, gets him out to the 23 yard line. Gain of five. Jaquan Shepard makes the stop. Tar Heap still was in there as well. And I think one of the best parts about those styles that you talked about, neither team makes it a secret. Maryland's going to tell you. We're like a basketball team. We just need more shots, more shots, more shots. And then you look at this Husker offense. They'll tell you, we want to run the ball every play if we can. Harburg coming off a tough game at East Lansing. Completed less than half his passes. And was also responsible for all three of the Husker turnovers. Rolls out. 
little bit high off the left turn there of Emmett Johnson. Late penalty marker comes in from the defensive backfield. Referee here is Brian Banks. There's no foul on the play for offensive pass interference. The pass in the behind the line of scrimmage. It's third down. Okay, so disregard the flag, and we're looking at third down and ten here, Kyle. We talked to Matt Rule, the head coach for the Huskers yesterday. Of course, they want to run the ball. He said, in addition to running the ball and hopefully limiting turnovers, which has been a struggle all year, we need one of the two following things to happen. We have to have third down success. This is third down and ten. We've got to find some explosive plays from somebody outside of our quarterback. And I think that's why you're seeing some of those pass plays to Emmett Johnson, the screens and the swing passes. So they don't have to rely so heavily on the run game to stay in third and manageable. Penalty marker comes in, and this is thrown directly to the, to the Terrapins. Dante Trader Jr. playing center field, just hauled that one in and brings it back to the 47. And we'll check in on the penalty marker. There are two of them there on the 35-yard line. Holding, number 45, defense. Can you play from the previous spot? Automatic, first down. for the Huskers Emmett Johnson hits the corner with some speed out to the 37 yard line who Lewis talked about a couple moments ago and Joshua Fleeks to carry as well Johnson met at the line of scrimmage that time and even though Maryland's defense Kyle you look at a lot of the ways to measure a defense is toward the bottom half of the Big Ten easily they're so physical style of football Another chance here for Harburg to make a play empty backfield trio of pass catchers to his left as he takes a glance over to his head coach Matt Rule, his offensive coordinator Marcus Satterfield is in the booth. He was on the field in the booth for the third consecutive game. Here comes a linebacker blitz, little touch pass outside the hashes, incomplete at the 35-yard line to Alex Bullock. Had three penalty, gave Matt Rule one first down, and they fail on third and medium. Fell and they win really again. Nebraska goes into the bag of tricks to the 49-yard line. That's Nate Borkercher like that. For the first time, Anthony Grant is the tailback. He takes it right up the middle. Doesn't find much, but now for the first time, we see the Huskers operating inside of Maryland territory after a gain of two. And yesterday, when Matt Rule becomes a safety blitz, they pick it up over the middle. Intercepted! Picked off on the 35. Running inside of Nebraska territory, Dante Trader Jr. Tracked that one down, worked his way to the left. 880. He asked his defense to give him a couple more, and they just got one there. He set up the screen pass at midfield. Husker defense there to keep that to the 45-yard line. That's a completion for a loss of two yards, and those turnovers to it this week. Husker defense puts him behind the chain, second down and 12. By man rush. Tongue of Iloa into coverage. The ball knocked in the air and incomplete. Tight coverage there for Nebraska. Omar Brown, the safety. At third and 11, in order to be successful on third down, you would love to be more efficient on first and second down, giving yourself an opportunity to have a more manageable third down. Tongue of Iloa, five out of nine for 37 yards. Four man rush. Touch pass, right on the money to the 28 yard line. Ty Felton's first grab. Correction. Delay of game. Apple. Five yard penalties. Still third down. Field draws up. Still plenty of time right now. Play clock only at 15 seconds. Oscars only bring four. Tongue of Iowa. Long throw and a diving catch. A wonderful grab by Caden. But that's what you need on third and long is a guy like Caden Prather just going up and making a great play. And on first and ten, the first grab for Jay Sean Jones. And no gain. Look up the completed catch by number one in the offense stands. It'll be first and ten, Maryland at the 33 yard line. Good luck. To Leah Tungle by Law. Little play fake to him. On the move. Complete. Jay Sean Jones, his second catch. Gets into the 28 yard line. Gain of five. Maryland on a nice start. Nice start. Seven out of the 11. 
And off to the right side. Nebraska's run defense continues to be strong. Another tackle for Things they really worked on this offseason, becoming more explosive, being able to move, being able to stunt. And there he is, in for a sack. False start, number 70, offense. Five-yard penalty, but still third down. His first season in that role. Four man, free rusher, over the middle. Drill right when he caught the ball is Ty Felton. Husker defense steps up on third down, fourth and 12. If they actually do go for it, penalty marker comes out. Delay of game, offense. Five-yard penalty, still fourth down. Receiver because of a knee injury. And is expected to play offense today as well. He won't get a shot here. And that one killed inside the five-yard line. Eye out to see if Jeff Sims, a highly experienced quarterback, as the backup, will get a chance to come in here today as well. Nice job of keeping his feet there by Emmett Johnson. His run on first down gets him out. Eligibility in his first year. Second time they've been inside of their own 10-yard line. Emmett Johnson does a nice job of getting out. Good acceleration. Follows his blocks out to the 19-yard line. In the game so far, five carries, 28 yards. Little play action to him. Nice pocket. Let's one go down the middle. Threw a strike, but it was incomplete. And that was a pretty good throw, a little bit behind, but Malachi Coleman expects to catch that one every time. And Harburg starts out one out of five with a pick. Back to the ground game, and this is Joshua Fleeks. Good move to find the corner, but the perimeter. It's a team that just continues to run the football. It opens the entire playbook for you on third and five. It could be a run from the quarterback as well, who is their top rusher. Out of the pocket, in trouble. And he'll try to make something out of nothing. Just got across the 20, but well short of a left side there. Keep an eye on that. And a punt from inside the 10-yard line from Brian Buscini. Last time they faked a punt. This time they'll actually punt it. And this is still from inside his 40. Finds a lane to the outside. And they chase him down, bottle him up. Thought he had a chance to turn and made his way into the tent. We'll see who comes out quarterback for Nebraska next time they have the ball. Right now, Roman Hemby carries on the first play here for this Maryland. Their eyes just lit up. That was an accident when I ran Kyle. <laughs> Little sidestep in the backfield, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. Roman Hemby thrown for a loss. Jamari Butler. <laughs> Penalty markers right when the ball was snapped. Ball start, number four, offense. By their ability, it's still third down. Situation in third down. Tonga Bailoa has converted third and long, throw into the sideline. Penalty marker is out. In cutting route, card of the 45, immediately tackled is Shalik Knotts. Gain of five, not nearly enough for a first. Tommy Hill, good coverage and a tackle. And we'll check in on the penalty here one more time. Legal formation, four, four players in the backfield, offense. That penalty's decline, it's fourth down. And this offense averaging 31 points per game. Hasn't sniffed the end zone yet. Punt is away from Segovia. Ethan Nation from his own five. See if he can get out of this trouble. Gets across the 10, and that's it. Good job by the Terrapin special teams. Ty Felt, seven games, he hasn't thrown a pass. He's in for an injured Harper. Quarterback draw. Little hesitation and a strong finish. Keeps his feet for a first down. Welcome back to the playing field. To Georgia Tech. Nebraska has zero passing yards so far. Back up the middle. Johnson quickly through a hole. Love how he accelerates. There's no hesitation with him, Kyle. That time he gets five. Now he does a really, really good job making the decision, putting his foot in the ground and getting north, picking up five yards there on first down. Leading rusher so far, and there's Harbor got the helmet on, which would indicate he's ready to go back in. But talking to the coaching staff yesterday, Matt Rule and offensive coordinator Marcus Satterfield, Jeff Sims was on their mind. So it's unfortunate there's an injury that brought him in, but we kind of got the feeling that we might see him today at some point anyway. We came in today assuming we'd see Jeff Sims sprinkled in a little bit. We may see a little more than we thought. Second down five. Johnson right up the middle. And he got right to the sticks and looks like enough. Second first down on this drive. The first one for Jeff Sims. 
underneath. Mix signals from the sideline right now. The Husker offense clicking along pretty well that time. The Terrapin run D. Fanaje Gote and a late flag with the late contact. Meeting a defense. 15-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Tank, as we said, a couple here at Nebraska. Going to the sideline to, to view from there, along with all that experience. Frustrating but helpful. Look at that pocket as well. Still surveying. And Sims finds his way to a positive gain out to the 46-yard pass, but it ended up being a run. Huskers still stuck on zero passing yards today. See if this can be a positive to Bullock out across the 45 and out to the 43 yard line. The former walk on three catches last week in East Lansing. First one picks up two. And a third down and four coming up. And just like with Harburg, pal, you do have the option of running in this situation with Jeff Sims, who has over 1,000 rushing yards in his career. Especially where the ball is on the field. You just crossed midfield, not quite in field goal range, so definitely four down territory here. They should have two opportunities to try to pick up four yards, so you'd assume you'd see another run. Both Nebraska and Maryland sitting at five and four, needing that one more win for bowl eligibility. Harburger started the last eight. We just saw him watching here on third and four. Sims keeps it himself, and he got one, maybe two. Called fourth and a long two and just. Timeout call. No delay again. Timeout call. Time right out. Now. Sims has completed only one pass so far. Johnson, good cutback, gets in the first. And a little spin with some bonus yards out to the 35. Kellen Wyatt, the linebacker, made the stop, but that's a nifty move at the line of scrimmage for seven yards and a new set of downs. Just another incredible effort from Emmett Johnson. Love the decision there by Matt Rule. Brings in the extra offensive lineman. You see the tight end there on the backside collapsing the line of scrimmage, and the rest is just on Johnson, making a cut, getting the first down. He continues to be a bigger and bigger part of this Husker offense. First five games, he carried it only four times. He's had 47 cents. Empty backfield now for Sims. Quickly to Johnson. New way to get it to him on the edge. And he gets to the 33-yard line. Tar Heap still by Nebraska already with 83 rushing yards. Maryland has zero. Johnson wrapped up in the backfield that time. It had been working, but this time the Terrapins with the right, the short side of the field. Five seconds on the play clock. Terrapins bring four. Sims over the middle. Complete to the 28-yard line, and that'll be two yards short. Jeff Sims started the game as the backup quarterback is in for an injured Harvard. Right up the middle. That was stuffed. He keeps it, and he is ripped down. No chance from start to finish. Ability to Leah Tungabailoa starts this drive, 9 out of 13. Nice pocket. Let's one fly. Has a wide open receiver. He's got it. Down to the 15 is Ty Felton. I'll see an explosive downfield, and there it is. This time quickly to that sideline, inside the five, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Maryland, just like that. Two completions, both to Ty Felton, and the first six points of the game. And that's exactly what this Maryland offense does. They need more plays because they have such a quick strike ability. They can score in a hurry, and we see it there with two completions to Ty Felton. A couple of examples of explosiveness in the Terrapin offense and then just taking what they give and Ty Felt breaking a tackle and finding the first six. Jack Howes on to attempt the extra point. And Howes makes it seven to nothing. So Maryland may not have a single rushing yard, but they have the only touchdown. A two-play drop is one and only drive. And either number seven or number ten will take over here, this time playing from behind. And 
it looks like Matt always going to be solid. We need to see some some opportunities with his arm here if they're going to catch back up down seven nothing. Tailback behind Sims is Joshua Fleeks. Little option to the right side. And here comes the Terrapin defense. We were told how important it was for to make plays on the perimeter of, for the second half of this game. Harburg, eighth consecutive start, but they have this experience backup in Sims. 23 starts at Georgia Tech. Two to start the season at Nebraska and fires a little bit behind his receiver, but a terrific catch down to the 47-yard line. That's Jalen Lloyd, freshman from just down the road in Omaha. Gain of 25, easily the best passing play for Nebraska yet. And that's what this Nebraska offense has to be able to do. You have to be able to hit these chunk plays downfield, especially here as we're under two minutes in the second half. At this point, you're not going to be able to just turn around and hand the ball off every play. You've got to push it downfield. Nice pocket for Sims over the middle. Another completion down to the 39-yard line. It was low, so there was no run after the catch. But Joshua Fleeks, former wide receiver at Baylor, picks up eight. Marcus Satterfield, offensive coordinator for Nebraska, said if you see Sims, we'll be able to operate more of a traditional kind of passing game. This time it's Fleeks between the hashes just ripped down there. Dante Trader Jr. Now we're just inside of one minute. The Huskers were also inside of Maryland territory in their last drive. To the air, Sims finds his running back, Emmett Johnson, stretches out to the 30, gains five. A couple of timeouts left for the Huskers. We'll see when they use them. Now again, two timeouts left for the Huskers. Back to the air, floats that one to nobody except a Terrapin. Intercepted by Tarheeb Still. Ran underneath it. And that's the second. Might they take another shot at points? They're going right to the air. Tungavailoa turns those shoulders, floats it down the middle. What a toss to Jayshon Jones! Down to the 36-yard line. Best here late in the second quarter. Out of the backfield, Hemby approaches the 30-yard line. Clock stops. Spins out of trouble. And just floats that one away. And run the ball if they wanted to with that timeout to try and get a little bit closer. Terrapins look, looking to make it back to back scoring possessions here late in the second quarter. Tunga Vailola quickly out of his hands. Down to the 29 yard line. They got to use that timeout. Down to three seconds. Clock stop. After the play. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number two, offense. The 15 yard penalty, downtown. Wow. They bring four. There's the movement, and here's the toss. Into the end zone, and out the back of the end zone. That's how the first half comes to a close. We were scoreless after the. Here they are with two in the first half, really three. Short kickoff down to the 20 yard line across the 25 and to the 28 yard line goes Trevin Lubin. And we expect to see Jeff. Opportunity to throw the football when the wind is at your back. You don't want to be throwing back into the wind. Sims, quarterback draw, little stutter step, gets out to the 34 yard line. In four yards to start the second half. Jacob. And then stay out of the third and extra long for sure. Now you know that he had those two, two big shot plays. With a drop there. Two big shot plays on offense, and uh, Mike Watson looking for more of that here in the second half. Paul? Inside of Maryland territory, but didn't get any points. Four man rush on third down. Sims, nice pocket, far sideline, way overthrown. It's really going this way in the first quarter this time. They punted away. Hushini to Sarheep still lets that one bounce. And it goes out of bounds before he got to the 20 yard line. And right back to the air, quick hitter. Out to the 25 and to the 27 yard line. Ty Felton, he fumbled the ball. Ball came out. And we'll see if the Huskers got it. Yes, they did. Exactly what they needed. 
And their offense, best position yet so far. Anthony Grant, the tailback. Sims keeps it himself, has a lane across the 20, and dives out to the 16-yard line. Just enough for a first. He gets 11. They recover the fumble, a first down run. He's looking up, at least temporarily, for the Huskers. Now, this is just great play design. You see Grant on the dive. Borkacher pulls around on the zone read and is the lead blocker for Jeff Sims there on the, on the keep. Injured Husker on the 19-yard line. And if you just joined us, Heinrich Harburg got the start for Nebraska. He left with a lower body injury. Jeff Sims came in in that first half. On the 16-yard line, Grant, nice hole up the middle across the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Picks up eight on that run. Husker offense clicking now after the turnover. For him to give him this short field, see if they can take advantage. Second down one, Emmett Johnson right up the middle. First down across the five. And for the first time this afternoon, we can say first and goal. Huskers coming up after a run of three for the leading rusher in this game so far. Emmett Johnson just continues to come in, take the handoffs, get downhill. And we got another injury on the field. A defensive end for the Terrapins, Tommy Akin Besote. Johnson cuts it back and makes it inside the two. And the football here in the low red zone. Sims keeps it himself, tries to find the edge. Stood up and pushed out of bounds. Got back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. He positioned and, and makes a big tackle. See if Nebraska will dial up a pass of sorts or if they just keep it on the ground. As Sims lines up under center. Emmett Johnson behind him. They go in and around. Inside the five. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska. And they're an extra point away from tying this one up. Take the big and get this offense moving here in the third quarter. And right back to the air. Out of the backfield to Hemby across the 25. Good cutback. And to the 35 yard line. Just enough for another Maryland first down. Down. Empty backfield. Four man rush. Quickly out of his hands. And the ball might have got tipped at the line of scrimmage because it never had a chance to get to him or keep it myself. He's done a nice job of that here so far today. Another quick hit to the far sideline. Diving effort, but incomplete. That is a long pass attempt. They fake the blitz. Nice pocket, but he escapes to the left. Now he lets it go. Intercepted. Second turnover of this quarter for the Nebraska. Jab and right. Did get that left foot down. The rule on the field is an interception by the defense. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, and number six of the passing team. It's a 15-yard throw into a dead ball spot. It's first down the bracket. Leaks now the tailback. And Sims rolling. Tossing, completes. Well-designed play. Thomas Spadoni, the tight end. Hiding across the formation. That time they're able to pop up and can get a big completion. They get right back on the ball. Sims keeps it for a quarterback sneak. About half a yard past there. And the chains move once again for Nebraska. It's the tailback now. First and 10 from the 21. Sims. Out of his hands quickly. Not a big game, but they get down to the 18-yard line. That's Fleeks. Anthony Grant. Good little sidestep to get back to the line of scrimmage. Barely. Sean Fuller, defensive end. He Through the third quarter, key down coming up for both sides. Third down and nine. Jeff Sims quickly out of his hands and quickly knocked right down to the ground. Good job, Jay Sean Barham. Did at least half of it. They'll go for it on fourth down. With the ball getting batted down, they bring out the field goal unit. Tristan Alvano from 38 yards, middle of the field with the wind at his back. 
in this range 30 to 39 yards this year he's made two out of three this for the lead snap and hold are good draws that one back in just enough and for the first time today the and with the wind at back, that ball doesn't even land in the end zone for the second time in a row. That the run has to be 50-50, but they just have to get something out of the run game. They fake it that time. Complete to the 30. And that was an immediate tackle there. But just even quick completions will create balance as well. Here's Hemby, left side being pursued. Breaks a tackle, and that's a terrific job by the sophomore tailback. Almost thrown for a loss. It seems like every time they try to run the ball, it's, it's end of rounds. They're not really just getting downhill in the run game. Gain of two, and after those two plays, count eight. And they continue to work, and he's ridden down from the backside. Almost made it out to the 40. Ty Robinson keeps that to a gain of one. Quickly out of his hands, Jay Sean Jones. Well, that has worked well. They throw just below the sticks. A little run option show on tape. They've been sitting back and playing zone. Little play action this time. Drifting in trouble. Penalty marker comes out. It's a completion, and it would be a first down and some bonus yards down the far sideline. Antoine Littleton found his way near the 20-yard line, but just as that ball was completed, the penalty marker came out. Likely coming back here, and we'll check in with Brian Banks. Holding, number 51, offense. Two more from the previous spot, but still, first down. First down, 20. Wanting to pass, finds Hemby, big hit. Knocks the ball out incomplete there at the 40-yard line. Just worked their way downfield. Second down. In trouble, decides to keep it. And he's chased out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Looking, throwing, complete to the 50. And staying in bounds is Jay Sean Jones. And a strong finish. First down and 10, they're right back to the air. They want to go with the screen. Double pump and the completion falling out to the 34-yard line is Colby McDonald. Has been the third tailback today behind Littleton. They do have 14 yards rushing all coming on this drive. More success set the middle, this time for a first down. Colby McDonald with a catch for four and now a run inside for eight. And the chains move for the Terps. Not able to find it there on the run. Back to the empty backfield set. Quick hitter, Ty Felt, wrapped up. He was the one who fumbled to end the first drive in this third quarter, and that one had no chance at all. And as you mentioned, Kyle, another. And here they bring the blitz. Tongue of Iloa, far sideline, strike on the move. And he has found success rolling out to his left. Little run after the catch has worked so far from Maryland. And the penalty marker comes out early movement. This will be third down 11. Well, start number one, offense. By the penalty, it's still third down. Well, that's a nice pocket. Keeps it himself across the 20, and he's going to be about half a yard short. Littleton up the middle, stopped. Jeff Sims back on at quarterback, keeps it himself. Will cut back across the 20 yard line. And he picks up four on first down. Fanate Goje, Gote, middle linebacker with the stop. Begins the fourth quarter with the lead. Little hesitation. And he fumbled the ball. Sims fumbled on the 20 yard line. And Maryland has it. Ball knocked out by Donnell Brown. Penalty. And that was Bo Bray knocking the ball out from his safety spot. Empty backfield for Tunnel by Loa. 22 out of 32 so far today. Watch out for the blitz. It got him. Mark 
Marquise Buford, the safety on a delayed blitz, got home for a loss of 11. And that at the snap, Talia only fought four to come. Now it's just four. Tonga Vailoa on the move with a completion down to the 27 yard line. Corey Deitches, his tight end, he got six of those yards back. Hurting third down. Safety blitz. They throw right at it, complete to the 18 yard line. And this will be about seven yards short. Caden Prather. And as we said, just get you back in comfortable field goal range. Have a chance to tie the game up with the field goal. So it would have been a 35 yard attempt, ironically, late in that third quarter had they decided to, to kick the field goal. They went for it, didn't get it. So now he gets the 35 yard attempt to tie it up, this time with a win that is back. And Jack Howes has it right down the middle. With the wind at the back, we've not seen any kind of kickoffs return going this way. And Jeff Sims started this game as the backup quarterback, time pretty well. Eight out of 12 for 62 yards. Good pocket to the sideline. Intercepted. His third. Interception today and on back to back plays as well. Fumbled it away last play and then threw an interception to Dante Trader, Trader's second of the afternoon. Four more today, three interceptions, one fumble. Hemby off the right side, picks his way out to the 46 yard line. And he picks up three. The team has a lot of fight. They run the ball well, they play good defense. It is tough to overcome four turnovers. It is. And this defense, the Nebraska defense, will always give you a chance. They will keep you in games. But from an offensive standpoint, you, you can't just keep turning the ball over and, and giving it right back. And Hemby up the middle, and he finds some space, and a Maryland first down. The ground game is absolutely the counterpunch to Tungo Bailia's passing games and on back to back plays. You see how they respond to quarterback. Tongue by Leah. Nice pocket. Sets one free down the sideline and almost a one handed catch from Caden Craven. By Lola. He's 24 out of 35. Second down 10. Corner blitz. In trouble. He's got space to go. Easily a first down and inside the 20 and slides down at the 12. Avoided the first 7 start here this afternoon. Hemby kicks it out to the right side. And he's down to the 12. Matt Rule wanted a penalty marker for a hold in the backfield. Didn't get it. And that's a three-yard game. Matt Rule not at all happy with the officials. And now he needs his defense to make a play. Second down seven from the 11. Up the middle. Hemby, good cutback. And a spin down to the three-yard line. Fumble. He fumbled the ball. Nebraska believes they have it. They're pulling bodies off the pile. And no signal yet. Still no sign. Huskers football. The two ten sophomore from Queen Creek, Arizona. Hands off on the first play up the middle. And the Huskers get out just beyond the five-yard line. That was Emmett Johnson. We've had five to last year. Has played in three games this year. Keeps it in the set. How far can he get? Pretty good little jump there after the 17-yard line. Heinrich Harburg made his eighth start earlier in this game. Ankle injury. He's been out ever since. That happened in the first half. Jeff Sims has been a turnover machine. He now has nine on the season. So he's on the sideline, and Cody takes over. Play clock went down to zero there. Timeout, Nebraska. That's the second and a half. Yeah, they got the timeout call just before the play clock went to zero. <laughs> Number one rushing offense in the Big Ten to lean on if they want to make it all about the ground game here with their third quarterback. Birdie gives inside. Johnson hit in the backfield and makes it to the 20-yard line. 
Good penetration there. Gain of only two. Jay Sean Barham, the linebacker. And we have been calling the names of the talented linebackers here for the Terrapins quite a bit in the backfield in Nebraska. And now they face second down eight. All the points for Nebraska have come here in this second half. 0-0 after the first. 7-0 Maryland at halftime. And as we thought they might do, they continue to lean on the top running game in the Big Ten. Burham with another tackle. Gain it. They've only converted one out of seven on third down. Here comes a linebacker blitz. Purdy. Completes. And still running. To the 46-yard line. Billy Kemp playing right out for the first game. Very limited opportunities until today. And now they can go back to the ground game. Brady keeps it himself. Good hard run inside of Maryland territory. Tarheeb still with the tackle, but you see the enthusiasm on the sideline with the kind of energy he created on that run to pick up nine yards. You see the Nebraska coach running out and grabbing Purdy's arm almost as he's saying, like, great run. Hold on to the football. I see you fighting for extra yards. Protect that football. Purdy had a big run for a first down around the right side to get out from near his own goal line. Picks up nine there. As Emmett Johnson behind him, who's carried 15 times for 57 yards already. Here's his 16th carry. Nice ball in the middle. Good pass. And a cutback. Johnson, another cutback. What a run down to the 16-yard line. He's been the lead tailback now for four games in a row. Brody keeps it himself. He cuts it back and finds room. Another Husker first down. Purdy's in yards. From Harbor to Sims to Purdy. Big time drive led by the run. They had one conversion on the pass to Kemp. Johnson remains the tailback. Purdy keeps it in trouble, just grabs it. Pursued by two Terrapins there. He was lucky to avoid the big loss. Bring up second down goal. There is no foul for intentional grounding. Passers outside the pocket, and the ball got the underlying screen. Johnson hit in the backfield and ripped down on the seven-yard line. Isaac Bunyan on him right away for a loss of one. Three wideouts to the left. Still has Johnson behind him. Takes a look to his sideline. The play caller is actually in the group. Offensive coordinator Marcus Satterfield. Got to get this going. Play clock down to two. To the air. Intercepted again. Another INT. This time it's Tarheed still. The rash of turnovers has been unbelievable in this second half. I understand you want to be aggressive. You want to try to score the touchdown, but you know, almost would love to see you lean on your run game there. Maybe you break it for a touchdown. At the very worst, you escape with three points. All three Nebraska quarterbacks have now thrown at least one corner out from the offense and is able to undercut it, intercept the pass. Eight turnovers already in the rearview mirror. Maryland back on offense. Here comes a blitz. Ball batted at the line of scrimmage. Batted right out of the hand, a tongue of Ilea by Ty Robinson, who recovered the last fumble to convert on two decisions on fourth down. I think those big, those penalties are what lead to a lot of these turnovers. They've been in good situations, and then penalties are, are knocking them back. It's keeping them behind the sticks, putting them in, in favorable situations for Nebraska's defense. Tungle by low is 24 out of 36, dancing in the pocket and way offline there. Corey Deitches, his tight end, was sprinting to the sideline. Third down and ten. Four-man rush off his back foot. A leaping effort, incomplete, and a late flag comes in. 
Tommy Hill had the tight coverage. Quite possibly too tight on third and ten. Number 31, defense. 15-yard ability from the previous spot. Automatic first down. First down and ten. Roman Hemby right side. Nice little hole initially. Got to the 40-yard line. Pulled down from the backside by Ty Robinson. Positivity which you can try and find with the Maryland offense in the second half. Pull up the middle for Hemby, and he spins out right at the sticks. He's been the feature back and also run the football better in the second half. Third down less than a yard. Hemby, all 48 of his rushing yards coming in this half. He gets another chance. Head down. Second effort got him there. Not a big game, but he got just past the sticks. Negative rushing yards on that afternoon. Delayed blitz comes in. Complete out to the 48-yard line across the field there to Preston Howard. Tango Vailoa hasn't hit 300 passing yards in any of the previous four losses in a row. He's at 262 right now. Hemby. Boy, does he have room off the right side. Inside the 35 and brought down at the 32-yard line. Wasn't touched until he was well into the second level. Safety Marquise Buford with the tackle. They're able to hit the big zone play out the right side there. Makes a run pass working now for Tungle Vailea. And he's got another completion. Deitches, the tight end. Catch and run for a first. Tommy Hill makes the stop, but that's a gain of 11 yards to the wide receiver slash. Look, there's a lot of really good tight ends in the NFL that are only 225, 230. Has five catches for 40 yards. Linebacker blitz. Quickly out to Chase Sean Jones. Keeps his feet inside the 15 and inside the 10. Barking on Blake, but it goes out of bounds. Hemby up the middle, covering up the ball. Got to the 11-yard line, and that's it. There's Hemby inside the 10. Stood up at the 7-yard line. And brought down by about, so Jack Howes comes out today, one for one from 35 yards out. From the left hash, this will be a 24-yard attempt. Wind at his back. This season, he's two out of three between 20 and 29. Kick is up, and the kick is good. Four-game losing streak is over, and the Terrapins are bowl eligible for the third consecutive year.